Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Nosa and I'm a medical doctor currently working in the UK. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys about the targeted enhancement recruitment scheme for GP applicants in the UK. Basically, the government is giving GP applicants £20,000 for agreeing to go to certain regions in the UK. Now, this is not necessarily new. This has actually been there for a couple of years. It was definitely there in my time. You would get what we call a golden handshake from the government, um, a £20,000 payment for basically doing your GP training, which is three years long in certain parts of the UK. However, during my time, you had to go to really remote areas. Like, I remember back then, it was places like Northumberland, but even further than that, like Cumbria, very, very cold, really up north. And I personally decided it wasn't for me. But the amazing thing about this year is there are so many, many more options than there were in my time. Now, there are even places in London. I'm talking like Ealing, I'm talking like Enfield, and it completely makes sense to apply. I'll be telling you the benefits of that in this video and how exactly to go about it. So if you guys would like to see more, please keep watching. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you guys back for more videos. The reason why the government is doing this is basically to encourage doctors to go to these, you know, under doctored areas or deprived areas that are usually very short on doctors. And the way the government sees it is they're trying to get more trainees to those areas in the hope that people that train in a certain area tend to decide to stay on when they become GPs long term as well, thereby addressing the shortage of GPs. In terms of the shortage of GPs, the fact that the government has actually created more posts like this and is willing to pay people to go to places even in London, London, which is generally oversubscribed in terms of applications, confirms the fact that there's not enough GPs in the UK. The bashing by the media constantly of GPs is probably not encouraging people to want to go into the specialty anyway because literally GPs are blamed for everything. Definitely, I think the GP bashing by the media is not helping matters, hence why the government is trying to even recruit more GP applicants. So like I said, you get £20,000 to work as a GP trainee in certain areas. Bear in mind, if you don't finish that training or you decide to resign or for whatever reason, you would have to pay that payment back in installments. In my description box down below, I'm going to put a list of all the places the government is giving £20,000 to GP trainees to go and work at. Um, definitely consider them. They're cool places even in Essex and like I said, in London, Greenwich, Haringey, Hillenden, Hounslow. I hope I'm pronouncing all those places correctly. <laughs> Um, and yeah, there's other places obviously outside London and if you're an international applicant and you don't really care about where you go Definitely consider these places up north um, because they tend to be more of the places that have um, a shortage of GPs um, And also if you're already someone that already lives in this area as a UK applicant Then you just apply for these areas these areas that are under doctored and get a £20,000 bonus to start your life now, if you want to apply to these schemes, bearing in mind that, the, that this scheme is actually starting in 2022, the Aurel website, which is the website that all doctors in the UK use to apply for training jobs, while you are applying for your GP training job, you literally rank these hard to recruit places on there. If you're sure it's even the top job you want to take, then make it your first one, why not? They have said though, and this is where, you know, depending on how many people are applying, depending on the competition, that if, so many people apply, so basically it's oversubscribed, then the standard recruitment processes would apply. So which I assume that if a lot of people are applying to, for example, Hounslow, which is one of the places they have said is generally under doctored, then they would not basically be giving you this 20,000 payments because it, basically there's a lot of doctors that are willing to fill that post, even without the 20,000 pounds enhancement. So yeah, guys, seriously, consider it. If you enjoy GP training and it's something you would strongly consider, then I'd really suggest you apply to these posts. Obviously, what we don't want happening here is people that are never, people that were never interested in GP, that completely hate GP, would now decide they want to apply to GP training because they want that £20,000 boost. If you haven't watched my video on why you should not become a GP, you definitely need to watch it because I definitely explain to you why you would absolutely hate your life if you went into GP um, solely for the purpose of money or the flexibility that it gives you. You actually need to be 
comfortable with the job to an extent which involves a lot of independence a lot of risk risk taking to name a few and if you're one of those doctors already in gp training that wants to consider perhaps resigning and reply we are applying again to get this twenty thousand pounds in certain areas trust me you can't do it you're not allowed to resign from a gp training job and apply um for gp training again it's just not allowed and it's not just exclusive to gp it also applies to things like internal medicine training they really try to discourage people from resigning and applying again hence why they've made this rule that only under exceptional circumstances would they consider people that have resigned from a training job to be applied to the same training job um because if you couldn't do it the first time i guess they're thinking why why do you think you can do it now just to mention another point as well is that for example there are places in essex if you're one of those people that has family in london um you can just literally apply to these places in Essex and then commute from London. I'm just saying it depends on how important the money is to you versus the commute. But I'm just trying to explain that you should just really try and fit this in if you're already going to apply for GP training anyway. Because it is nice to just get £20,000 boost. So if you guys found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you didn't know about this or if you knew about it and whether you'd be applying or why, you didn't, why you're not going to be applying. I'd really be interested to know. Um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!